Good afternoon guys, welcome back to Hangzhou. I'm actually hunting for Wi-Fi once again. It's, when you travel, you don't think about hunting meat. You hunt, you always hunt for Wi-Fi. That's what I'm doing right now. And I didn't get that much of a good connection, so I'm trying to upload videos. It's been 12 hours, so I have to find a way in. If you guys are wondering, I didn't buy the SIM card yet. I'm waiting for a friend to help me out here in Hangzhou. He's gonna come with me maybe today to buy the SIM card. That's gonna be good. I'm in uh, this area that's pretty cool. The first time I came here was really, really cloudy, so we couldn't see anything. So I'll try to go again, see the water, see what that looks like, if it's better or not. And uh, you guys are gonna come with me, of course. It's good to finally see what it looks like on the other side of the water. It's pretty cool. Not as amazing as other cities, but I'm more amazed by this side with the big tower. I've been reading a book, or actually, I should say, probably listening to a book by uh, Steve Ward, which was mentioned on the last episode of the podcast. If you guys want to listen to that book at the same time, I recommend. It's called Mindful Trading. So I'll put the link below for you guys. It's really interesting. And it's the kind of book that you want to read, but also apply at the same time. So throughout the book, it's giving exercises that you can apply, which are really helpful. So what I would recommend you guys, I'll talk about that book a couple of times in the week, probably. I'll probably do some more videos about it. But if you guys want to follow and uh, do the exercise at the same time, I would really appreciate it. I think it would be awesome. One of the most important ideas in the book, I think, is the idea that you can think about something, but you don't have to do it. You might be uncomfortable in a trade, but it doesn't mean that you have to get up. You have to always be able to thought, but it's good to distance yourself from them and to understand that your thoughts are happening, but you don't have to act on them. You just have to listen to what's happening and then decide if you want to act. And that, I agree, takes a lot of practice, a lot of time, but mindfulness is a habit, so the more you do it, in every situation, the more you become good at it, and the easier it gets. Yeah. 